how to set up paid appointments on Calendly. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Calendly and how you can use it to set up paid appointments on it. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, this is the website right here. And all you have to do is just simply sign up. And the sign up process is very simple. All you have to do is enter in your email address over here into this bar. And if you're using a Google's email address, then you can simply sign up with Calendly using your Google account. And you can just simply, you know, integrate all of your Google Calendar and Google Meetings with Calendly automatically and uh, you won't even have to do it Calendly will recognize it and it will do it for you so i've already signed in so let me just go ahead and log in and show you how it looks like and there we go as you can see this is how the dashboard is going to look like when you log in so when you have you know signed up for the first time it's going to ask you a bunch of different questions that you can choose to answer if you want to if you don't want to you can ignore them as well so once you're over here on the dashboard once you've cleared all those questions up what i want you guys to do is come over to account and click on account settings over here what i want you guys to do is check everything and see everything is good and then on the left side you have branding and over here you can add in your, the logo for your company or your merchandise or whatever you're trying to do you can go ahead and upload your logo over here and then you have my link over here you can go ahead and edit the my link over here this is basically the url that you are going to copy and send it to your friends and family members or your clients or colleagues or whatever that uh, you want to have a meeting with or you want to schedule a meeting with you're going to send this link and this is how it's going to look like plenty.com slash whatever you choose so for me i've chosen win media and i'm going to keep it at that and i'm going to click and this is going to be my link that people are going to see and over here you can choose which account you want to log in now once everything is done what i want you guys to do is go back to account and click on a calendar connection now this is very very important because this is one of the most important ones out there because you are basically connecting your calendar to you with your calendly account that is going to you know help you sort out a lot of your uh, scheduling problems and meetings and calendar related stuff so adding a calendar is very easy all you have to do is click on add calendar account and it will show you all these different accounts that you can connect with so you have office 365 exchange outlook icloud and google so for me i've already chosen google so you can choose whichever one you want and once everything is done you can go back to calendar and you can now start making your event so before i show you let's go ahead and check out this link as i said before let's see how it looks like so if anyone clicks on this link this is how it is going to look like you will have your interviews or events or whatever over here your name over here and logo as well so for me i don't have a logo i just have my name so as you can see my name is over there and then whatever i have was written in the description and then my interviews meetings or whatever so this is how it's gonna look like so let's go ahead and now create an event with a proper paid appointment so to create that all you have to do is click on create new event type click on it and over here you are going to choose whether it's a one-on-one -on -one or a group session so let an invitee pick a time to meet you let multiple invitees meet with you at a one time i'm gonna go ahead and choose one-on-one -on -one, click on create and over here you can name the event you can add in its location and description so for the name i'm just gonna go ahead and write therapy session and once that is done we can go ahead and add in a location basically whether it's a you know custom or you know online or in person or on a phone call whichever one you choose but for this one i'll just go ahead and leave say that ask invitee so that i don't have to add all the other locations but if you choose like you know add in person then you will have to add in more details like an address a proper address and then you can click on update and that's basically done but for me i'm just simply gonna go ahead and add in ask invitee and there we go then we have like a description and over here we can add in a description of what it's basically gonna be so it's gonna be like a an hour long therapy session so we can go ahead and write that or whatever you want to you know add you can add in links and stuff like that or whatever so for now that's done so next we have the event link this is basically how it's going to look like so we can go ahead and edit that as well so it's going to be calendly.com slash when media slash therapy session or whatever we choose so we're just simply going to go ahead and choose 
therapy there we go therapy session was way too long we'll just say therapy for now and for this one we'll go with yellow and click on next once that is done we can go ahead and say when can people book this event so people can you know book this event for like next 30 days into the future i think yeah and the duration is gonna be like 60 minutes as i said in the description above and then how do you want to offer your availability for this event so we can go ahead and offer the availability so people can book this event whenever they want so let's just say that working hours work fine you know book this event and have the therapy session however they want to so i think this time works and then we can add in a time before and after the event yeah we'll add that we'll just say 10 minutes as a break and uh, for me and the client or whatever so once that is done we can go ahead and click on next so now that that is done this is how it looks like we have additional option over here so we have you know made this event but we haven't added a payment system so this is where the main payment system comes in so over here you have a couple of different additional options over here so you have invitee questions workflow notifications confirmation page and you have collect payments what we're going to do is we're going to click on collect payments and over here it's telling us to visit the integration page and chose the preferred provider so if i click on the integration page over here it is going to take me over to over here in the integration page and over here we have two payment methods we have paypal and we have stripe we choose whichever one you want so i'm going to choose stripe and if i choose stripe it's going to ask me to you know connect with stripe so i'm going to click on connect with stripe and over here just have to enter in the phone number of my choosing and then it will send me a code and then we can go ahead and start collecting payments on our appointments so over here i still haven't received my verification code for some reason i don't know why uh, i also believe that stripe isn't available in my country so i guess we can leave it at that but you guys can understand right what you have to do it's very simple you just have to you know choose the provider and there you go so so now that you know a little bit about this now you know how it works let me just show you how much it does it cost so over here as you can see these are all the four plans that you can see over here so the first one is the basic one it's called the essential it's worth eight dollars and the professional one is worth twelve dollars and the teams is worth sixteen dollars and for the enterprise you'll need to you know uh chat with the team and you will also need to have 30 plus employees or workers under you so that you can get this one and for the basic one you get all the basic features such as two calendar collections that works with every service that you can see google icloud office outlook or whatever you can create unlimited event types one-on-one -on -one and group events create unlimited one-off meetings unlimited connect to google meetings go to or go to meetings microsoft teams webex or zoom web conference get meeting reminders and follow up via email automated event notifications customize your booking link add cleanly to your website branding to your booking page connect to slack and help center and members support via email in three hours or less and you get all of those with the essential plan but in the essential plans you get like six calendar connections per google per person and all of the services as i told you in the basic one create unlimited event types and everything else and including from the basic and on top of that you can collect payments via stripe or paypal connect to hubspot or mailchimp access over 700 app integrations remove calendly branding so that you don't get a watermark on your products and manage groups and permissions for your teams customize your confirmation page and send invites automate all your events and messaging from google or outlook accounts customize email and text messaging and get notification when someone books and you get all of those in the professional one and on top of professional one you can create unlimited event types connect to salesforce manage event types as admin and live support and you get smaml single sign on sso in the enterprise secure and simplify id management with scim expedited members support via email dedicated calendly account per person or per partner onboarding and implementation adoption and outcome guidance and security and legal reviews all of these you get into these four you know packages and these are for like monthly you know they're not booked annually if you book them annually the prices go up a little bit so for the essential ones you'll be paying like nine dollars for the professional ones you'll be paying 14 for the teams you'll be paying 
uh 16 okay i'm sorry it says build yearly over here so i think that you can change it to you know monthly so i think this is the final you know offer you get so that is all the things you needed to know about calendly and how you can use it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye